On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to remove this pipe and relocate it using PEX. So stay tuned. Hi there friends, welcome back to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So friends, today marks the beginning of our bathroom renovation series. This is actually our master bathroom. When we tore down and demolished this bathroom, there's actually a wall right here. And behind that wall, was this hidden pipe right here. Now, if we didn't demolish this wall, we wouldn't have figured out that there was actually one foot of extra voided space that we could actually use to expand this bathroom. I don't know what was going on, whoever the owner was, but they routed the pipe going up and outside the house. And this is actually connected to a spigot outside the home. So we're gonna cut this galvanized pipe and we're gonna have a transition from galvanized to PEX piping. So let's go. You don't know where this pipe runs it could go either left right down up whatever the most useful tool that i recommend you guys use is this endoscope right here this is my go-to tools i've kind of introduced this on my other videos in light and there's also a camera at the end and it connects exactly to your smartphone you're kind of like an opening there and we're just gonna snake this down there and observe what's under there actually a fitting under there or an elbow that we can disconnect so we don't have to cut this pipe so that is a good good thing you can see where the insulation is we can actually go and disconnect this fitting right here i like to use this for finding studs so we're gonna try to find the joist on the bottom yep so it looks like we do have one right there right there so here's another trick where you can find out where the another joist is located there's two pieces of this plywood right here that's butted together where they nailed it on these areas right there. There's nails, nails, nails. So we know that there is a floor joist running through right through here. So this is actually great because then, now that we know that there's a floor joist running through here, right beside this pipe actually, we drilled right through that floor joist. Both of them sits. 16 inch centers. Check out where I'm gonna make my cut. You can see this is where the joist sits. I went past the joist over so that when we put this back, we can have something to screw that over. I'm gonna start out small. I'm gonna use this seam as an advantage so we don't have to make that cut. So there's a lot of tools that you can choose to cut. Uh, you can use a jigsaw, you can use this reciprocating saw, you can use an oscillating tool. I choose to choose this one, but if you're interested in all those tools that I just mentioned, I'll leave the link on the description down below. So looks like we were kind of off. The pipe is going towards this way. So you can see we marked it just right. The stud finder did find that stud. Whoever did this actually compromised the stud strength by notching this out. That's not good. This is a male going to the female T connector right there. The insulation that we saw on the endoscope. It looks like there's a shut off valve right there. We can shut that off. So we can get access to this right here. We can disconnect that. So let's go shut off this valve. That turned off all our water. Before we go on, this was my original plan to begin with. I was assuming that I had to cut the pipe. I wasn't expecting an elbow or T. My original plan was if I had to cut this, for example, I was gonna use a dresser coupling or a compression coupling right here. This is a three quarter inch. I cut this right here and fit this through just like this. Cut this thread off and fit it right through just like that. I'll push it all the way in and fit it right over and then screw it up just like that. So it's gonna sit like this underneath so that I can transition it into the PEX transition. I'm just gonna cut it anywhere here to loosen this up. There we go. 
down. Okay. There we go. PEX male adapter. We're gonna screw it onto right there. We're gonna put plumber's tape. Wrap this around with plumber's tape. I'm gonna thread this clockwise. I put the tape counterclockwise. The tape doesn't loosen up when we start threading. Use our adjustable wrench. take and route the PEX piping now instead of going through straight through this wall we're gonna go and go underneath and run it underneath there and up so that it'll pop up somewhere up here up there but I'm gonna locate it around here so I'm gonna have to remove some of this drywall new spigot will now run through there We got our half inch piece of PEX. We got our hole right there. And we're just gonna go test out if it goes through. Perfect. So there you go. Again, this is a half inch elbow. We're gonna go 90 up and then 90 up. All the tools and materials that are used in this video, I'll leave a link on the description down below. Now what I like to use is this Pro Crimp Ring half inch. The PEX pipe. It stops right there and you know where exactly where it goes. Just like that. This crimper I use, it's a two quarter and a half inch. This one's a half inch, so I'm gonna crimp this on the half inch up here. There you go, easy. Put a 90 up here as well, so that we can have that going up. Connection complete. Pretty much it goes like this. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this up to that hole above. I'm gonna test this out right quick. Put this over, put this 90 over. And yeah, we are still up above there. We don't go past this joist, so it's not gonna hit the floor. If once we put the flooring at the top, obviously this is an example. If you put a flat up there, yep. We can still put that piece of plywood over it. Now we can go put this over. We got that over through there. Feed it, feed it out. Now we can position this over through there. So there it is. Now we're gonna crimp that. So lesson learned. What I should have done was I should have crimped this first before I threaded it, then crimped it here. So it'll be a lot easier, but I wasn't using my head. Everybody make a mistake. Yeah, now I just made it hard for myself. So, lesson learned. All right, friends, so there you have it. We got the transition fitting right there from three quarter inch, PEX three quarter inch to half inch PEX. We got it all connected, elbow. Elbows right there, all the way up. So from there, you wanna use your gauge right here. So if it fits like so, if your gauge fits like that, like that, like that, to there. So I'm not gonna cut this yet. That's gonna be for a different ep a video on when I'm gonna go and cut this to fit. So I don't wanna cut it yet. This is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be installing a brand new spigot out there. I'm gonna show you in a different video, but this is basically how I did that. Attach this shut off valve at the end of here so I can close it. So let's go back down there, open up the main shutoff valve. We got the water back on. Now this is gonna be a cold water line, that's why it's blue. If you look around there, there's no leaks. No leaks, always double check for leaks. We go under there, I don't see any leak. Turn this on the on position, get some water flowing and show you that there's actually water in there. There you go. Whoa. So this is just temporary. 
I, I just did this because I'm not putting the spigot yet. I gotta work on closing this off and we're gonna cover this up. All right, when we put the plywood over, obviously this is not the same plywood I'm gonna use to cover this up. Stay tuned for the different video on how I'm gonna close this up. But yeah, look at that, it's disappeared. We rerouted the pipe, all done. Perfect. So friends, that's pretty much it. We got rid of all these ugly pipes that's connecting here that was just sticking out of the from the floor to the outside wall. Everything is gone. We put the, this is just temporary for now. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how I put this subfloor back, patch this up, and I'm gonna show you the brand new spigot that we're gonna replace that old spigot with. So if you found this video super helpful, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.